Hello and welcome to For the Clarity and Closure of the Viewers' Comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. Also, I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Please don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. And if you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it if you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about. It's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that on the spot. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. First comment comes from someone named I Wide Open. And they say, friend of Raven, miss him dearly. No DWM postal judge in Hawaii am in pick. She was trying to correct what MKK did. Um, and this comment is on a video. I think that this individual commented on the, the wrong video. Because the video I think they're referring to is the one I did with Mark Lowercase K. Kishon Christopher, where he was pointing out the people who were going to get corporal punishment and things like that. And she's referring to, and I'm using the word she because I know the individual is a she, um, a picture of Kalani Kuhau, and there was another fellow in there named Dax, and she's saying she was in the, the pick as well. I'm not going to use her correct name, though, because uh, she hasn't used it in public, because they did contact me. And, uh, and I did contact them back, but they haven't answered. I offered them a consultation, but they, they haven't. Uh, they've gone silent. But in any case, they're talking about a different video, not the one in the picture there. Um, she's saying that Kalani Kohal was trying to correct what Mark Lowercase K did, which I'm not sure how Kalani Kohal would be able to do that, being that Kalani Kohal does not have closure on correct sentence structure. And before you start saying, well, Jason, that's an assumption. How do you know that? No, I do know that because I have communicated via text messages with Kalani Kohal and I used correct sentence structure and she kept telling me to use plain, simple English because she couldn't do it. And then I started syntaxing her plain English back to me and she, <laughs> she got a little bit upset and, uh, well, we broke bulk with the conversation. But anyways, so I don't know how they would be able to correct, how Kalani Kohal would be able to correct anything like that using correct sentence structure. I mean, maybe she's talking about using the fiction system against the fiction system. I don't know, but she's certainly not talking about correct sentence structure. But um, anyways, because they didn't uh, get back to me uh, via email, I figured I'll just do this public video and they can hear what I have to say and maybe uh, get some clarity on the situation that way. Thank you very much for the comment. Next comment comes from member James Alexander. This is the video that the comment before was probably meant to be placed under this video because this is the video that they were talking about. Uh, the reason I published, well, you'll see why I published this comment. I'll just read it. Thank you, Jason. There is a lot on display from Mark that appeals to the emotions of many. Beliefs and opinions in right and wrong, instead of looking at the facts and learning to remove our emotional response, weigh the pros and cons, then move forward with the knowledge to explain our autonomous navigation. I found Mark's early videos very helpful and took many useful routes of study from them. However, Mark's volition is not my own, and I wish to conduct myself with honor, grace, peace, and neutrality. Mark's volition would appear to bring the same intent of harm, or worse than the system in place, 
surely a pointless venture for anybody to travel, but I can't tell anybody what to do. There is no doubt Mark is a very good businessman, and he does have some very informative and credible lessons for the understanding of how the fiction operates. He is also a very clear indication of the many searching for answers with absolutely no idea where to look or how to think for themselves. Hopefully the search will lead those with goodwill and volition to search further for the facts, as I also have. Thanks again for the Now Space investment. And thank you for the comment, James Alexander. That was very well articulated, and I agree with you. Next comment comes from Hulu2. And Hulu2 says, right about the four-minute mark, I'm sorry, but I just could not listen to this man's silliness anymore. And just as I was about to turn it off, again, I'm sorry, you began. So I opted to continue. Bec no, B BCL, no, I'm about to learn something of value. I guess that would be because... Just when you made the comment about the lad who had been stopped by the popo, I believe you said your thought was you took this man's three-day seminar, 2K course, whatever, and didn't know how to handle it. At that moment, I was across the room and YouTube went to a commercial. Having not made that connection, I laughed, thinking how appropriate. A fine place to end your commentary. At that moment, my takeaway was Mark Lowercase K still is pathetic, and to provide him any attention, which unfortunately for many it seems has been and continues to be a waste of any serious student's now time potential. Well, Hulu too. Um, I appreciate your comment, but I will say that I personally don't participate with the concept of wasting time. And for you to tell someone else that their time is being wasted is that's a presumption and assumption in correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar it's void of presumption and assumption which you if you can you know if you participate with the concept of wasting time that that's up to you i mean you're autonomous you can do whatever you want but to assume or presume that other people participate with that is exactly that it's a presumption everything is a learning uh scenario with my perception and so that that's the only point i wanted to make about that you know i mean i there's definitely videos that i i watch where i see certain things and i'm like man i'm not gonna watch this because i have other things i'd rather watch and learn from uh, but if i do make a mistake i definitely learn from it and it's not wasted time but that's me thanks for the comment Next comment comes from Truth Seeker, and they say, So Jason Greaves from the Blue Thumb Club challenged Russell J. Gould and shut him down from what he says. Is this true? I mean, <laughs> as far as I know, Russell J. Gould is still making money on Patreon, Patreon, however you say that, and... His construct still have people, you know, throwing hundreds of dollars to buy incorrect live life claims with his name in the copyright copy claims section. I mean, he's still in business. So I'd have to say, is this true? Maybe in the Grievous's mind, it's true. As he sits there in a hoodie and smokes cigarettes wherever he is in his backyard or whatever. But um, it's all fiction truth seeker grievous is fiction and russell is fiction and the reason why i say this is because neither one of them show any evidence in any of their documents or any of their youtube content that they have closure on correct sentence structure communication parsi syntax grammar it's just not there thanks for the comment next comment comes from i wide open and they say get return on email not sure what that means. And the reason why I published this comment is to just reiterate that if you're going to leave a comment, um, I highly recommend that you leave a complete thought. If you're using plain, simple English, if you don't know correct sentence structure and you're using plain, simple English, please, you know, check your spelling, check your grammar, make it as clear and coherent as possible so that I know with very little to no effort, what it is you're trying to convey. 
like this. I have no idea what this individual is talking about. There's no context to what they're talking about. So please, if you're going to leave a comment, it's best to leave it well articulated because why wouldn't you want your comment to be very clear, concise, and with context? Thank you very much. Another comment from Truth Seeker, and they say, at Jason Matthew Glass, oh, okay, so he ain't all what he made out he says to be. Then why is it you guys disqualify each other? You see that between David Wynn Russell, now Grievous, and Russell, and now you guys disqualify him and his club, LOL, which and tax is the real deal I'm lost, which one to follow? Well, Truth Seeker, um, since I don't know if you're asking a question because I don't see a question mark there. And actually, your comment is, you know, see, see the previous Kuliana that I gave about being clear and concise in what you're saying. It's Your comment's a little bit muddy here, at least from my position. I would highly recommend not following anyone and just thinking for yourself, looking at the evidence for yourself, looking at the knowledge. And the best thing to do would be to learn the freaking grammar. That would be the bottom line. Um, and by the way, Truth Seeker, name one video where I've ever used the word disqualify. Name one video where I have literally disqualified anyone, as you say here. Because you're making a claim for me, and it's just not true. It's a presumption. I have never done any such thing. The only thing I've ever done is looked at the grammar of these individuals and audited the grammar and shown that they do not use correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. That's it. I haven't disqualified them. I've never said, I strike them out. They're disqualified. They're finished. <laughs> That's goofy uh, junior high BS to me. I, I don't care about that. What I care about is people falling into pitfalls and landmines and I just try and warn people and show them with the continuance of the evidence that these people that you mentioned in here don't have closure on the grammar and I prove it again and again and again and the way you can certify that for yourself truth seeker is to learn the grammar for yourself until you do that you're probably just gonna keep on you know flapping around floundering around wondering what's what but once you learn the grammar then you can center yourself you're you're you create a foundation of correctness for yourself and now you can look through that lens and you can make your own choices that's the beauty of contract next comment comes from not anybody and they say jason don't you think we need a judicial change back to common law this system we live is corrupt through and through I like his change, and David Wynn Miller's advice was probably to start a new parallel system if it can't be changed. That's what I would do. Well, not anybody. Why don't you go ahead and do it then? What's stopping you? If that's what you would do, and you really feel strongly about it, do it. Because ain't nobody else doing it. <laughs> okay, so to get to your first question, Jason, don't you think we need a judicial change back to common law? No, I don't think that because I don't participate with the fiction system. And common law is fiction. Judicial is fiction. It's all fiction system BS. I navigate using correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. And you obviously, um, I would have to guess, don't know correct sentence structure. So if you, like uh, Truth Seeker, or whatever their name was in the comment before you, the bottom line is learn the grammar, man, or woman, or whatever, you know, learn the grammar, bottom line. You'd answer a lot of your own questions, um, a lot of speculation would be taken out of your mind, and you would know what the facts are if you got closure on the grammar. But until you do that, you know, this is, this. is you're still going to be participating with this type of fiction mentality. Yes, the system is corrupt through and through. That's why I don't participate with it. Period. End of story. And Mark Lowercase K has his own style of fiction system. 
just like Russell J. Gould does, just like that Jason Grievous does. They have their own fiction system because they're not using correct sentence structure. And I have, again, proven it over and over and over again multiple times. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Dave Apex, and they say, 33 streams, goal of 33. Is there something I am missing with you choosing 33? Thanks. And um, they're referring to the 33 live streams that I did. And they ask, is there something I am missing? Well, David, do you feel like you're missing something? Um, with me choosing 33, 33 is a number. And if you count the streams, there are 33 of them. So that's what it means. If you choose to invest some different value in the number 33, that's your own personal volition. I choose to use it as a number. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from member Jason XR4, and they say, have you considered setting up a Discord server for all your students? There are many channels available to custom build as necessary to fit with your volition. Uh, number one, Jason, I am banned for life from Discord. And number two, for those serious students out there, meaning students that I've done workshops with, numerous workshops, who have actually, they're very close to closure on the grammar or they have closure on the grammar, I have set up other venues and platforms that they can use in the confidential to contact me. All right, but that's only for the few that are very, very advanced. I don't offer that to everybody, only the people that are very advanced because my now space is precious. I mean, if I spent all day answering questions, I wouldn't have time to make videos or do workshops. So if you want to set up a Discord server for students of correct sentence structure, that's entirely up to you. There's this YouTube channel right here where people can comment and converse amongst themselves if they choose to. I mean, but it's all up to you if you want to participate with it. If you want to be, you know, one of those advanced serious students, you just have to contact me, jasonmagicg17 at gmail.com and apply for the workshops and complete the curriculum. And then that venue would open up for you if I see that you're actually serious and committed to it and consistent with your studies. But, you know, that's... Those are the terms and conditions. Thanks for the comment and thanks for the membership. Another comment from Dave Apex and they say, you mentioned the Freemasons in this video and 33 seems to be their highest degree of rank. As far as mentioning this on a grammar channel, sorry. I see your work is not just grammar. You seem to communicate and give us viewers warnings about fraudsters and other life matters. Well, the other stuff that I do is what I call correct sentence structure communication, parsing syntax, grammar, psychology. It's the psychology of the grammar. The psychology of how you would use the lens of correct sentence structure to look at things. Because I find that the psychological portion of this grammar is the most difficult challenge for most people to surmount. Is rule of one and rule of equal just about grammar? No. My question about your use of 33 was not intended to be a trap. Maybe there is a value to 33 other than Masonic. I don't know about. Remember, Judge Miller often said there are no coincidences. Thanks. Um, I, I agree with that, that there are no coincidences. I don't participate with that. There's definitely a reason for everything. But again, the number 33 is just a number to me. It has no special meaning other than... It's 33. It's a number of measurement. Next comment comes from Steve Harvey, and they say, consideration is a good word. UCC word. Yes, consideration is a positive performance word, but UCC is a fiction construct, has nothing to do with correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. You have correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, and you have fiction. UCC goes in the fiction bin. Next comment comes from colon space ethereal hyphen in hyphen novation. Now let's look at that. We have of the ethereal hyphen in 
a vowel in front of a consonant is a particle of negation. So they're using punctuation in their name, but it is not correct sentence structure. So therefore, I can pretty much guess where this person's coming from. Let's find out. Among the things I could say, you seem to have superhuman hearing. Hearing things, you might be able to catch some hang time if you start flapping those ears. I use colon space Russell's technology too. I don't know what they're being talking about with T-O-O. T-O-O implies that someone else is using it. I don't use Russell's gobble, quantum gobbledygook, but you, ethereal innovation, you obviously do because I just pointed out one, two errors in your YouTube title alone. You want to be a savior? No, I don't. I've never said that. I never gone off on any religious BS the way uh, Colin Russell, Ivy, Jake, and Colin Gould does when he talks, or when he and his people talk about him being the seventh angel. Woo! No, never said that. If you are good at tutoring and like this man's system, no, I don't like his system. That's why I don't use it. You could have joined and asked to be a tutor or something, but that would take powder out of your hands, huh? Well, actually, if you know anything about me, which you don't seem to, I did try to join Russell's Construct back in 2019-ish. Uh, yeah, I was in communication with him. And um, my volition was to come in as an auditor. I came in with humility. But I soon realized that something was rotten in Denmark. And... Um, well, let's just put it, this will come out eventually. I have all of our emails on file. I will be making a video showing every email from Russell and myself where we converse and all that stuff. And it'll come out what happened. It's not a big deal or anything like that. Um, but yes, uh, why would I want to give power to someone else? I mean, if that's the way you like to navigate, ethereal innovation, if you like to subordinate yourself to someone else, that's your choice. Be sure that there are many true judges and grammar tutors and you are not needed. Well, no, I'm not needed by people such as yourself because you apparently have all the questions answered. Not to mention you tried to teach me one time before I started this channel and your opening line was saying comprehension is wrong and the word should just be henshin. Never said that. That is a flat out lie. I would never say that. If I said anything about comprehension, it was because PRE is a particle of negation. Preposition, present, comprehension. One zero negates the whole math problem and a multiplication problem. So that's what I'm talking about. But I have no knowledge of ever talking with this individual. Oh, great merciful master that has traveled the world with their authenticated technology. Is that similar to how ethereal is wrong and we should just be using the real? I have no idea what this individual is talking about. But that would be wrong too in your teaching. So it looks like I'm just left with... What? Might as well throw that part out as well too. My point being, you did not convince me then. You do not convince me now. And you did not do the work to even make a choice for the grammar. How do they know what I did or didn't do? That's hilarious. There's a lot of presumption assumption going on here. So I see what this is. This is one of those uh, Russell J. Gould cult followers. How cute. You are not a part of its corporate structure. No shit. Nor would I ever want to be a part of that crooked-ass, chaotic, incorrect, BS, gobbledygook. It's not open source technology. No, not what Russell uses because it's not quantum grammar. It's not correct sentence structure, communication, parsley syntax grammar. He doesn't even use the flag. He puts a finale on the top of the flag that's a spear, meaning he's at war with the people. That's not a grammar flag. Duh. Your lack of knowledge finding shows in many places. All of this because you want to be the one guy. That is not correct. I don't want to be anything. I'm a grammar tutor. That's all I've ever claimed. 
to teach grammar for over five plus years to hundreds of people all over the earth. That's all I've ever claimed. I've never claimed to be any type of judge. I've never claimed to be any type of commander. I've never claimed to be any type of general, po you know, any nothing, postmaster general, nothing like that. I've never, ever claimed anything like that. And I don't know where these people are coming from. They must really feel threatened by someone that's out here teaching correct sentence structure, communication, partisan syntax, grammar, because they know that they don't have closure. And so they try to come at me in any way that they can. I guess. I don't know. That's a guess on my part. There are so many guys. Jeremy Stavin Boutwell. Colon space. Jeremy hyphen Stavin colon Boutwell. So that's of the Jeremy. So that's not correct. So this guy definitely shows, as I said at the beginning, that he comes from Russell J. Gould's camp. Because he definitely doesn't have closure on the grammar. And just another troll, really. It's really funny. And I'm glad, you know, I'm grateful for Jeremy for the humor. And folks, I keep meticulous re uh, records. I keep meticulous logbooks. And this guy is not in my logbook. I don't have any record of ever talking to anyone with the name spelled like that. Even a fiction adjective, adjective, pronoun name. No one. So this person is just flat out lying. But, you know, that's part for the course coming from Russell J. Gould's construct. That's the type of people that those people are. They lie. They're malicious. And they talk a lot of shit that they can't back up. But, excuse my language. Next comment comes from Magical Fluid Process. And they say, I've certainly been guilty of blind belief in the big names in the past. Magical fluid process. I applaud your honesty and humility. I agree. I also did. As I mentioned earlier, when I wanted to join Russell J. Gould's construct back in 2019-ish, um, I believed in what he was doing. I really wanted to join. But for some reason, it didn't work out. And I am so glad it didn't work out because I then realized, number one, what kind of individual he actually was like his personality and the way he treats people. And number two, no one over there has any closure on the grammar. So I'm blessed that I didn't get mixed up in that horrible quantum globally group chaotic uh, construct over there. Thank Odin. Whew! Final comment comes from Stefan Schmidt, and they say, Thank you for your warning, Jason. I know Mark Lowercase Cake is shown for almost seven years now, and from my point of view and sensation, Mark was a wonderful gift with his skills for his fellow mankind for many years, and I always appreciated his lessons and his videos and what he had to share with his students. Just that you know it, Jason. In the year 2017, I was in the same online webinar with you and Raven, and the other students, and I could remember that Mark was excited of the skills of Raven, for example. Well, I do remember you, Stefan, and I do remember those uh, webinars, and I do remember, you know, some of the things that Raven shared in those types of interactions. I, of course, have a personal insight to that because I am friends with Raven, and uh, he was my tutor, is my tutor and my brother, and we do keep in communication. We do touch base every now and then. And so I have a firsthand account from him of all of his experience with Mark Lowercase K when he went to the plenipotentiary program, when he went to Mark's house in person to have a discussion with him about syntax and things like that. I was privy to all that stuff. And I was also privy to when Mark suddenly, you know, after Raven met with him face to face, suddenly took down Raven's testimonial off the internet and then started slandering Raven in public because of the events that transpired. I'm not going to go into it uh, just because out of honor for Raven. I'm not going to go into it because, you know, I don't, I don't think he cares one way or the other, actually. But yeah, I, I was privy to those things. 
In 2019, something started to change with Mark when it got more and more obvious to me that he got more and more on a plenty potentiary judge postmaster power trip somehow and when he raised his package prices beyond most people's income range. It's so sad that now one even has to warn people not to get in trouble by following his commands and orders. And the way he is talking of you and some others has nothing to do with honor and peace and correctness. Mark always told his students how important it is to comprehend the difference between the spiderweb principle and the starfish principle. In other words, to build a network of autonomous man and woman on a level playing field. <laughs> That's a huge contradiction, isn't it, Stefan? Because Mark is actually the head of the spider. <laughs> However, anyway, it's so good to be now here now, Jason, and I don't know any better tutor for learning correct grammar. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I have very much gratitude uh, for that, those kind words. And I say this after so many years of the frustration with the volition of the learn, with the correct sentence structure from DWM and RJG and from Mark, lowercase k. So hats, just a correct statement of truth. Greetings from Germany, Bavaria. Call on Stefan hyphen Christian, period. Thank you very much, Stefan. I appreciate your comment. I appreciate you taking the now space to share those thoughts with me and with the world on this channel. And uh, thanks to everybody who commented. Uh, see you in the next one. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, Contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again. And I'll see you in the next one.